Can you imagine what it would feel like to be healed of scoliosis instantly? Watch this video of this sweet woman named Bertha and her reaction after Jesus heals her of scoliosis instantly at a local store we call Walmart. Watch this. Hi, I'm Susan McGuire and welcome to The Way with Susan. If this video adds value, you find yourself liking it during the video, take a second please and like and share the video. Also, leave a comment. Give me feedback on what you're feeling and thinking as you're watching. Believe it or not, those three things will help the algorithm to get this video in front of the very people who need it the most. Thank you so much and now let's dive into Bertha's story. I'm so thankful that when this woman was healed of scoliosis at Walmart, I happened to think to pull my phone out and get a video. I don't always do that. I am trying to make a point of doing that more going forward so that you can actually see the precious person who was healed and you can see the glory on their faces as they testify. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you Bertha's reaction at the end of this video. It's priceless. So. I took my friend Kathy out to Walmart to pray for people. She is a very young 70 year old, uh, loving, caring Christian woman who prays for the sick in our church and prayed for the sick at a ministry called Healing Room. So she was very comfortable with praying for the sick. But the whole idea of going out to a public place and offering to pray for strangers, that was way out of her comfort zone. And her own testimony was that on the way there, she was praying like, Lord, if this is really something you want me to do, then you need to do something and you need to do it now. You know what was really cool about it is he did. <laughs> he answered that prayer. He confirmed to her, yes, this is what I want you to do. You'll hear me say it a lot in these testimonies in Mark 16. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. In my name, they'll cast out devils. In my name, they'll lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In my name, they'll speak with new tongues and they'll conquer the enemy. So I want to encourage you today whether you need a healing in your body, I'm going to pray for you at the end, or you want to go out and pray for the sick, or maybe, you know what, maybe you don't want to go out and pray for the sick, but I'm telling you right now that Jesus has called you to this because he has anointed those who believe with power from the Holy Spirit to go out and lay hands on the sick, heal the sick, to do miracles in his name and by the power of his name. He has such a desire to heal. He has such a desire to set free. He has such a desire for all for you to experience his love and his power every minute of every day. And he wants to use each one of us as a part of his glorious plan. So back to Bertha and Kathy, we're going through Walmart and we had approached multiple people. We had prayed with a few. We had a few people turn us down and that was okay. We just said, God bless you. As long as you're walking in love, it, you can't hurt anyone walking in love. So I want to encourage you when you're out at the store or out about your daily business, you might own your own business and you're very busy about your day. And so I want to encourage you just to be open to the opportunities because it's that quick stop at a convenience store where you happen to glance over and notice somebody getting out of the car real slow. <laughs> Now here's the Holy Spirit, right? Somebody getting out of the car real slow because their back hurts bad. So this happened. I wasn't planning to share this. The Holy Spirit's just bringing it to me. I had a group of people waiting for me inside of Walmart and I was going to take them out to pray for people. And I was running late and I zip into my parking spot and right across from me, a man and a woman had just pulled their car in. And as they're getting out of the car, he gets out really slow and he's got his hand on his back and you, I, you could just see the pain on this guy. It was unbelievable. And so he, they get out of the car and they walk to the store. Well, right away, I know the Lord's like, pray for him. And I got a group of people waiting inside for me to lead them to pray for others. And it's like, there's look at this person. And you feel, when you've yielded yourself to Jesus, you feel his compassion welling up. It's like he's reaching out because he wants to heal them. But we have to yield to his ways. That's why this is called the way with Susan. Jesus said, I am the way. We have to learn and yield to God's ways of doing things. And his way is to move through us 
many times like this. And so I'm scrambling to get my stuff out of the car, jump out of the car. And when I cut through between, you know, the cars into the aisle, there are like three or four cars ahead. And I run up and I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. And uh, I said, you know, my name's Susan. I know I'm a stranger. This is random, but I'm here with a group of friends. We're going to be praying for the sick here in the store. And I noticed you getting out of the car limping or, uh, you know, struggling. He wasn't limping exactly, but, and, um, I don't remember the exact way the conversation went, but I offered to pray for him. He said, yes, I laid hands on him and the Lord healed him and took every bit of pain out of that man's back right then. And I, I, I'd asked him, you know, what your pain was on a scale of one to 10. It was like an 11 and it went to zero right there in the parking lot in a matter of minutes. I, you know, prayed with them. We talked, I invited them to church and, and so on. And then I, I left them and I ran in to meet the others. And of course, as I'm talking, then they go walking by and I tell everybody the story, right? And after we were at Walmart for probably an hour praying for people, they come by, you know, done with their trip. And he said, you know what? I've walked through the store the whole hour. He goes, I I don't have a stitch of pain in my body. Praise God. It's just so exciting. And uh, I just know the Holy Spirit wanted to share that story because I want to tell you about Bertha, but he brought that one up. And I think it's to encourage you just to be ready for those opportunities because you could be busy. You can have a lot going on, but you can have those moments. He's going to give you opportunities to pray for the sick wherever you go. Just keep your eyes open. And as long as you're moving in love, you cannot go wrong. So back to Bertha and Kathy. So we go up to this sweet lady, me and my friend Kathy. She was standing. You could see she was a little crooked. And so we approach her and offer to pray for her. And we prayed for her and she felt warm. And something I've learned sometimes that people will experience warmth as Jesus is healing them. Because we asked her after we prayed, what are you feeling? And she goes, I I feel a warm sensation or I feel warmth and or a heat. And so we moved our hands to another spot just to make sure that that's not what she was feeling. And we prayed again. And when we asked her how she was feeling, she suddenly got very wide eyed, surprised look on her face. And she said, I'm straight. I, she said she felt her hip shift. She could feel her hips shifting like while we prayed. It was amazing. It was awesome. And uh, I'm going to show you her right now. <laughs> so tell us, what, tell us what just happened. What did Jesus do? Right now I'm out of pain. I have back and I have a bad back and I have scoliosis. I have an operation and I feel even. I feel my left leg now is even with my right leg and I am out of pain. And Praise have, the Lord. Yay. Oh my Praise gosh. Jesus. <laughs> and at Walmart, happy. right? At Walmart. <laughs> well, I tell my daughter. What a beautiful testimony, right? How awesome is that? She was so excited. She's like, wait till I tell my daughter, you know? I mean, just so exciting just to think of the mobility and the freedom and, you know, maybe she's going to be able to spend more time with her and the grandkids. I don't know, but that is so awesome. And God wants to do that for you and he wants to do it through you. So I want to pray for you right now and anyone that you're concerned about. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for that one watching right now. Praying in the name of Jesus, Lord, you're right there with them. I pray for healing in their body right now in Jesus' name. I command scoliosis to go from bodies right now in Jesus' name. I pray for scoliosis to leave in Jesus' name. And I want to pray for any other illness or sickness in Jesus' name for complete and total healing. I drive sickness out of you in the name of Jesus, by the authority of the name of Jesus, the one who came to heal you. I drive that sickness out right now in Jesus' name. I I command bones to be healed and put back in place in Jesus' name. I pray surgeries have to be canceled because they find out that you're totally healed. Whatever it may be, I pray for Jesus to heal you and touch you right now. I pray for deliverance right now. From any kind of torment, mental, emotional torment, In Jesus' name, I drive that out right now, in Jesus' name. I pray for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And I pray right now, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you need to repent right now for your sins, I pray that you would do it right now. Repent just means you're turning to Him, turning away from sin and turning to Him. I repent, Lord. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. Wash me and cleanse me. Make me new. 
If you've never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I pray right now that Jesus would come and baptize you with his Holy Spirit and power. If you've never been baptized in water, I encourage you to take that step of obedience and do it. Jesus wants to have a wonderful relationship with you. The key is we've got to do it his way. It's through faith and obedience of faith. It's a relationship, not a religion. It's a relationship, not a rule book. It's a relationship with a living God that Jesus Christ, through his death on the cross and God raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand, he gave him the spirit to give to all of us who come to him so that we could experience the forgiveness of sins, that we could experience deliverance, that we could experience healing, that we can experience love and joy and peace in his Holy Spirit. He's calling you today. There's no accident that you're on this video. God has called you. He loves you. You are chosen. You have a purpose. The best is yet to come. Turn your eyes on Jesus. Get in your prayer closet, get by yourself, wherever it is, doesn't matter what time of day it is. There's not a certain number of hours you need to pray. You can talk to God all day long. He said, pray without ceasing. So we're just in this constant relationship with him. But he's calling you and he loves you. And he wants you to know that he's right there with you. And he wants to reveal himself to you and he wants to give you wisdom, give you understanding, comfort you, heal you. He wants to become your best friend. He wants to reveal his kingdom in you. So be encouraged today. And again, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can receive more encouraging messages just like this. Thank you so much for watching The Way with Susan.